Houses are traditionally built with fairly cheap materials and are simply inefficient and very costly. In many cases, home builders do the bare minimum to satisfy regulators. For example, using less insulation in areas where it's not required, setting the buyer up with a rental hot water tank with obscene long-term contracts and high prices, or installing less efficient furnaces or air conditioners simply because it's cheaper and less labor intensive. This is why the housing market, which has only changed incrementally over the years, could use a leapfrog product that would disrupt and revolutionize how residential homes are built, but at the same time keeping costs relatively low. With their bottoms up, first principles approach, this could be a giant opportunity for Tesla, which has been focusing on vehicles and will continue to do so for years to come, but they are slowly putting together a suite of components that would also fit well inside the home. Elon Musk has been giving out hints that he may be planning to create new products for the home. In this video, we will consolidate Tesla's residential construction experience and products to show that Tesla is on track to potentially disrupt the home building space. We will look at products that Tesla currently makes that are already designed for homes, products that Tesla already makes that can be transferred or adapted to the home using their expertise and learnings over the years. Then we will look at adjacent products that are arm's reach for Tesla, for example, partnering with other Elon Musk companies. And finally, we will look a few years into the future at what may be possible down the road. Let's start with current products. Solar Roof. Tesla has currently begun ramping its solar roof product, which is specifically designed for new homes or homes in need of replacement roofs. This is obviously perfect for a new home as it provides power generation, usually enough to power the entire home depending on the roof size, and the glass tiles are extra durable and shouldn't need to be changed for the lifetime of the house, which will save money by avoiding roof replacement. The solar roof is Tesla's first real foray into residential homes and getting their feet wet. Tesla has begun assembling teams of installers and will likely start partnering with other home builders in the meantime in order to get a foot in the door, so to speak, into the residential home space. Solar Roof will also allow Tesla to learn more about homes and with their installation competitions, having groups of teams race to install a solar glass roof as quickly as possible, Tesla is beginning to revolutionize the industry by applying their first principles innovation to the home. Powerwall the power wall, of course, is the central power storage for the house. Energy may be stored from solar panels or from the grid and used later to power the house during peak hours or in the event of a power failure. Again, if Tesla was making their own homes, they could integrate the power wall directly into the home instead of selling it as an add-on product and bake it into the price of the house. It's very likely that the Tesla home would start off more expensive and use the same methodology as they did with cars in order to bring the price down over time with each new advancement. By combining power walls with solar roof, Tesla can effectively build appealing off-grid homes. Solar roof and power wall are the two main products that Tesla already builds for the home, and everyone knows about these. Now things get a little bit more interesting as we talk about products that Tesla currently makes for vehicles that can be adapted for the home. Armor Windows Tesla will be developing its own glass, likely in partnership with SpaceX, which uses the same or similar glass in its rocket ships. The Tesla Semi, along with the Cybertruck, will be using Tesla armor glass windows which are resistant to rocks, but maybe not steel balls being thrown at it. The glass is actually a transparent form of a ceramic called Alon, not to be confused with Elon, which gives it incredible strength, especially at high thickness. They can use thicker glass in their homes versus their cars, which are limited to their mass. This has advantages in reducing the likelihood of broken windows or window replacement, and Tesla can use the armor glass to replace windows, which is typically the weakest part of the home when it comes to inclement weather and home security. Windows are traditionally not that great for home security. Tesla will put an end to the saying, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. Insulation. Home insulation is very important to prevent warm or cold air inside the house to leak outside, which would require more energy to heat or cool the home back off. Good insulation helps HVAC maintain the house at a constant temperature. With Tesla designing its own materials, they could make sure the house is well insulated with less thermal bridging in their structural design. They could use their learnings from insulating SpaceX shuttles to use better types of insulation. Taking this a step further, if Tesla could integrate the property of insulation into other components, that could greatly increase efficiency and the look and feel of the design. For example, one problem with large windows is that no matter how sealed your home is, they let the cold in and could let in heat from the sun in the summer. With Tesla's armor windows, if they themselves could also be well insulated with a new Tesla formulation, they could have multiple functions and save plenty of dollars on the energy bill. 
Additionally, making a double or triple paned armored glass window with large gaps in between to allow for insulation gas would allow for better insulation and acoustic dampening from outdoor noise pollution. Bioweapon Defense Mode Elon has hinted that he is interested in creating a new form of HVAC for the home, which we will get into in a moment. However, he throws in a HEPA filter which Tesla already uses in their vehicles. Tesla has a massive air filter inside the Model S and X which filters out things like bacteria, allergens, smog and dirt and viruses, making much cleaner and healthier air. One of the limiting factors is the size of the car. For instance, Model 3 has a smaller air filter. However, there's plenty of room in a house for this type of filter that can help remove dust and pollen which cause plenty of allergies each season. Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning Tesla already does an excellent job of managing the heating and cooling within a vehicle. They came up with something called the Super Bottle, which centralizes the management of a car's HVAC system, allowing various parts of the vehicle to work together. For example, combining the air conditioning as well as the heat management of the massive battery pack that they have in the vehicle. Tesla's Model Y brought on the successor to the Super Bottle, which is a more efficient system dubbed the Octovalve. While Octovalve is optimized for the vehicle which requires battery and motor cooling and heating, Tesla would likely have to come up with a new type of valve. This could be one of the most exciting and useful parts of the home because houses are built completely inefficiently when it comes to HVAC as the cost to make it more efficient simply aren't worth it for most home builders. For instance, the dryer generates a lot of heat in the winter time which is usually just directed to the outdoors. Or perhaps you've just used the oven which heats up the kitchen but then you go to the bedroom which is still cold. Other appliances such as the fridge are completely independent from the rest of the house and work in their own segmented environment instead of alongside other appliances in the house or with the house itself. In the wintertime there is a cold box inside a warm box inside the cold outdoors which is a little bit counterintuitive. Furthermore, managing the heat and cold airflow in the house throughout different seasons may require different vents to be opened or closed or even the location of the vents to change. Smart ventilation built into the house may cost more in duct work but would be more efficient in only heating the rooms needed and making the living space more comfortable. It seems that there's a lot of opportunity here with Tesla's first principles approach to revolutionize and redevelop the heating and cooling system in a house. Elon Musk has even said that the air conditioner, especially in really warm countries, uses let's say 10% of the overall power supply to residential areas during peak times. He has even hinted on the Joe Rogan podcast that Tesla may in fact release an air conditioned product in the future. It seems that if the octavalve approach was used inside the house, air could be moved more efficiently. Heat could be moved to where it's needed, cold air could be sucked in from the outside in the winter time and directed into the fridge for example, which may be more efficient. Only the rooms you are using or where you are located could be cooled or heated if desired. Elon Musk has said he wants a quiet HVAC system as well, which is very important as the furnace sometimes shakes the entire home. Octavalve has a heat pump which can be used for both heating and cooling. While inside the house, the heating and cooling units are usually completely separate. Someone can install an air conditioner long after the home was built. If Tesla were to design homes, these two systems could be designed to work together and integrated more efficiently to reduce utility bills. Tesla may need to design its own appliances such as a fridge or oven or dryer to work together with the HVAC system. And speaking of wasted energy, Tesla also has plenty of software expertise and they have the Tesla app for vehicles, energy and solar. The same app can be extended to control various aspects of the home including, as Elon Musk says, saving power when you're not home and coordinating with Tesla's other products when you will be home. Security. We can take this a step further and have built-in security cameras to give Tesla app users a 360 degree view of the entire home similar to how Tesla does this in a vehicle. One advantage of this is that the insurance companies can reduce premiums for secured Tesla homes. Unless of course Tesla expands its existing insurance product for the vehicles into the home as well. The insurance business is all about data and if Tesla has detailed logs showing that their built-in home systems are properly taking care of the home, for example keeping the humidity at a reasonable level, turning off the outdoor water in the wintertime, etc. Tesla could not only help the homeowner switch their homes from winter mode to summer mode with the push of a button or monitor for water leaks and shut the water valve off immediately in case of an emergency, but insurance premiums would be drastically lower with a Tesla managed home, very similar to having a home on autopilot. So far we've discussed products that Tesla is either already making or products that they make for vehicles that could be adapted for the home environment. If you like this video so far, please hit the like button. But now we're going to start looking further into the future if Tesla got serious about building homes. 
The first thing Tesla would likely need to do to begin its potential home builder ambitions is to either purchase or partner with the Boring Company, which was also founded by Elon Musk. This would give Tesla some additional skills of building homes. Infrastructure Before even beginning to build a home, the city infrastructure is usually carved out to support a new residential area. The Boring Company already digs water, drain, storm, wastewater, and conduit tunnels, which could allow Tesla to optimize the entire area and not just for a single home. Furthermore, if we're talking new cities, why not have an elevator in a nearby public garage that takes your Tesla into the high-speed boring tunnels for quick access all around the city? Bricks. The boring company already manufactures bricks using the rock and dirt that they dig out of tunnels. They sell them for about 10 cents a brick as they're removing the dirt anyways. It's a good way to reuse the materials and make up the cost of removing dirt by turning it into something useful, such as the outer layer of a new home or castle, of course. More underground floors. But actually, with the combination of the boring company, it might make more sense to dig downward and have multi-level basements or underground apartments even. They can be much quote-unquote taller, and you can build much further downward than you can build upward, and they would be weather-resistant and earthquake-resistant. And maybe having a few levels of basement wouldn't disrupt the look of the street. And because the boring company can produce tunnels that are watertight, they can build below the water table without the risk of leaking in areas that have a high water table. Geothermal Furthermore, although Tesla doesn't use geothermal power for anything today, Transferring heat to and from the earth may be more efficient and they could again use the boring company's skill set to drill into the ground below a house or building and use this renewable source along with their super home bottle or home octavalve in order to regulate the house's temperature. Geothermal energy is renewable and as we mentioned earlier, Tesla's heat pump technology could be used to get efficient cooling and heating while at the same time displacing fossil fuels typically used to heat homes. Future Potential Products Mars Homes Building homes on other planets in harsh environments will require new ideas, solutions to new problems, and the invention of new materials and processes. This will open up a new realm of learnings to bring back and apply here on Earth. Perhaps Tesla learns to make prefabricated Mars homes made out of stainless steel and brings these Martian design cities back to Earth for future looking cities which could be located in harsh Earth environments. Not to mention that using boring company technology on Mars may also make sense as boring machines can make tunnels for people to live in and make bricks using the dirt from Mars. Solar Windows Furthermore, since Tesla makes solar cells and glass, they can create a solar window that uses non-visible light to power the home but still acts as a window and lets light through. Although less efficient than a regular solar panel, this might apply to large high-rise buildings and have sheets of glass along the side that can collect a lot of sunlight. In conclusion, many people view Tesla as an automotive company. However, Tesla is more than that. They're a clean energy company looking to get the world off of fossil fuels and drag us into the future. While vehicles very clearly impact the environment, homes also have an environmental impact which Tesla could tackle in the future as its next source of growth. Many of Tesla's and Elon Musk's current projects seem to also be applicable to making homes more efficient and increase the quality of living. Do you think Tesla will become a home builder? Let us know in the comments below, or leave us a comment if you think we forgot to touch on an aspect that Tesla can do to improve the quality of homes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks so much for watching.